What are the guardrails that you thought were the most vulnerable and the ones that seemed uh, most necessary to reinforce? Uh, here in America, it is civil society, people who are really believe in liberal values. The problem with people here who vote, usually Democratic, whatever they are, a little bit demotivated to go and vote. They think it's in the bag. They, are, they have to be sold 100% on their candidate. We're complacent. Yeah, very. And it's a, but the thing, on the other side, they will go every single time. They don't care about who represents them. I think democracy dies with apathy, the act of participation of citizens. Uh, in Venezuela, we were at our best when we had millions of people mobilized on the streets demanding yes. their rights. And I think the biggest challenge is to sustain that. You, know, you, John, you've had experiences with this in different causes. I remember your march. I think it was against insanity or something along those lines. Yeah, we won. <laughs> well, <laughs> for me, that's... A, Everything's every, worked out pretty good. For it's, it's a great example. You know, in that single moment, you mobilize, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of people. Right. But at the end of the day... Yeah, to get high in a field. Well, I mean... <laughs> yeah, but exactly. So how do you sustain that so people understand that they, the being present makes a difference? It actually creates an impact right. when... The other thing it's energy at the local level. That, that's what I learned in the 9-11 yes. fight. It's energy at, at, at the local level. Maria, I'm going to give you the last word. Uh, you know, in your mind, how do you turn this thing around, and what's the most important thing to protect? To revive democracy, right? To, to fight this death by a thousand cuts of democracy, mm -hmm. to pull the terrorist line. Um, we have three pillars, and this is active for us. Technology. Put guardrails around the technology. Please, 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 you and the you have that, that power. The second is tech journalism. Support independent journalism, right? Fight for the facts. Um, mm -hmm. And third, community. Community is incredibly important. Um, the facts will help a community become civic engagement. This, the, these are the lifeblood of democracy. So that's what we're fighting for in the Philippines. Those are Rappler's three pillars, and we need them all. Community has helped us stay alive in this five-year, forever-long battle, and I hope to see the dawn. You know, uh, I'm optimistic. Maria, if, uh, you know, if there is anything uh, that can be done for your cause and, and the personal cause of, of not having to go to jail, please let us know because uh, it, it seems to me that sometimes when you shine a light on something, even a dictator doesn't want the hassle. And as we saw in, in, in your case and, and maybe yours, maybe you can't get everybody, but if you chip away at it, you, you can save a few more people. Yeah. Uh, thank you all very That's much. That's exactly how we stay alive. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Maria Bossom. Love you, baby. Francisco. We'll be right back after this.